Why don't you talk to your once best friend anymore? I have a daughter with a genetic disorder. Who was really sick when she was born. Which was shocking to everyone because we had no idea where anything was wrong. As we were processing and grieving she, ex-best friend, told me my mom and me think that she's, my daughter, a punishment from God for your past sins. You know what they say about how you don't always burn your bridges. But rather let them fall apart due to structural decay. That's pretty much it. I fired him. Not as my friend, I employed him to help him out. And ended up needing to let him go. He wants nothing to do with me now. Don't work with friends. Let him move in because of issues at his home. Started missing money and found used syringes in my FCK iron shoes. I guess you could say your shoes were laced. Edit. Thank you kind stranger for the gold. When I realized the only thing we had in common was the past. That sucked. Edit. Probably stole this from reading it somewhere else a while ago. But it stuck with me and has been hanging in the back of my head for a while now. She was maid of honor in my wedding. After. I would try to make plans with her for lunch or whatever. And she always cancelled the day of. Never gave a reason just oh I forgot I can't. Some other time. I realized I was the only one putting in any effort so I just stopped trying to do things with her. I figured if she wanted to do something she'd get a hold of me. I got married in July of this year. Haven't heard from her since. She's toxic. Another friend of mine described her as an energy sucker. Which I found to be really accurate. She always has to have attention from men. Even if that means causing needless drama to get them to focus on her. She's difficult to deal with because of this need for attention. I love her. And she knows me better than 98% of the people in my life but as we've gotten older her adult mode hasn't clicked on while mine has and it's hard for me to spend time with her because our priorities are so different now. My high school best friend got into college around 6 months before me, it happens in my country. She then stopped talking to me altogether. When I finally got into college, she decided it was too shameful to hang out with someone who was 6 months behind her. She'd still talk and go out with other friends from HS. But I was completely ignored by her. She had a baby. And then one day we were having lunch and she told me you know. I only want to hang out with other moms from now on. I didn't quite get the hint. But she ignored all my texts and emails for a few months and I finally realized what she was trying to tell me back there. Lol they usually don't come right out and say it like that. He became a domestic abuser. Started hitting his girlfriends in high school. No thanks. He slept with my girlfriend and sold his sister's virginity to a guy for $100. I realized that I was the only one really giving my all in our friendship. She didn't care and didn't bother. I was sort of a fuller friend to her. The worst part was she laughed along when someone else made fun of me. Sometimes I kinda miss the times we shared but I guess I needed to be better to myself. He tried to strangle another friend in an argument over whether PC or console was better for RPGs. The whole console versus. His junky girlfriend who was on probation stole $300 from me and abused my cat. He my former friend refused to believe she could do such a thing and got pissed off at me about it. Former friend decided that free blow jobs and housekeeping from the junkie on probation outweighed 20 plus years of friendship with me. Edited for clarity. Cleaned his house and blow him. Problem solved. I left the Mormon church. I lost many friends the moment they found out I left. I even lost a Christian friend because at least as a Mormon I believed in the Bible. Now he doesn't know who I am or what I believe anymore. I have new friends now. But most of my Mormon friends treat me like I died. Because she calls me on the phone every few months when she's alone and has had a few beers. That's pretty much eliminated the need for other conversation. I missed her a story about an interesting and relevant event in my life today and she ignored it. I got sober. I never realized how fast friends can drop you. Until I wasn't up for smoking meth all day and getting drunk every night. 
He died earlier this year. On my birthday. I miss you. And I love you Brad. Edit. Thank you to whomever bought me gold. Edit 2. Again. Thank you for whomever also gave me gold. All of the messages and replies have been wonderful. Brad was an amazing person. And my closest friend. Long story short. I love the guy. I wish we saw each other more often. But he's the flakiest, most unreliable person I know. He treats everyone like they're barely worth his time. Make plans with a guy and it's a coin toss whether he'll even show up. I've known him for 10 years and it's only gotten worse. But I learned long ago that it's a waste of time to chase him. Edit. Good lord you people. He's not terminally depressed. He has a hot gf and seems to be having fun w life. Edit 2. Jesus Christ. Till my friend really just wants to kill himself so bad. Thanks reddit. Read. 10 years I've known him. Lots of ups and downs along the way for both of us. This is just the way he is. I've made my peace with it. Why can't you? Her boyfriend didn't like her hanging out with other guys. Made her block me and all of her other male friends on social media. No idea if they're still together. He fked my wife. Edit. We grew apart. I needed emotional support during a very tough time and she wasn't interested in helping. So I ended it. Her brother s sorely assaulted me at the age of 12. While I was sleeping on a mattress on the floor of her bedroom. And she was sleeping in her bed two feet away. Her mom emotionally blackmailed me into not telling my mom. Read me a clearly dictated apology letter. Had him come and say sorry to me, more like his feet. When I eventually caved and told my mom. And she crapped all over his mom. I was somehow the guilty party. Then again. This was a woman who put a 6 year old on a diet because she was chubby. She wasn't. I feel she doesn't want to talk to me. What would happen if I stop initiating conversations? Many months later. Haven't heard a single word from her. She'd only really message me if she wanted something. If she was down I'd try my best but if I was upset it was oh I'm really not in the right place right now. Talk later which is fair enough but I always tried to help her. She'd also message me screenshots of the argument with her boyfriend. They're a shitty couple and my advice is always either dump him or talk it out which is never what she wants to hear but what am I supposed to do about it? I guess she just wants validation she's right to be annoyed but she can be really unreasonable sometimes. Oh and then she asks for money under some bullshit pretense and then buys weed. I know I shouldn't fall for it and I've stopped now but you know. Edit. I'm a girl. I don't just say dump him or talk it out I put it nicely. Perhaps try counseling? That type of thing. And I listen to what she's saying first. I do try my best to figure out where she's coming from but they dated before. He cheated. She forgave him. And they've been going out again since. She died unexpectedly 2 months before she turned 18. I was devastated and have not had many friends since. She was toxic. Always one upping me. Comparing us and making herself feel better about her appearance. Always leaving me for other best friends and telling them all of my personal shti. The list goes on. He got addicted to league and stopped talking to anybody. Edit. The fact that I'm getting so many am I your friend? Responses is worrying. Guys. Please don't let a fking free to play trash video game ruin your life. Check out our stop gaming or contact a therapist if a video game has consumed your life to the point where you lost all your friends and are a neat. At the very least. Shoot your former friends a text. I feel like I should text all my friends a hello now. She flipped and went super cyan because I had the audacity to make plans with another friend. And invite her. Instead of making plans with her first then inviting my other friend. She then pinned me to a chair and started screaming in my face. That's the day I fired my maid of honor. And booted her from my life. She then smashed my car window that night. FCK my life is better without that bitch. Wow dude. It's super saiyan. Stage 4 colon cancer. 
By the time we all found out it was only a matter of about a month before he was gone. I deserve this one. I set a good girlfriend up with a close guy friend. Go. Then he started cheating on her. He thought since I was his mate he could tell me and I won't tell her. Except. She was my friend too. I ended up basing my decision on a personal experience where an ex had cheated and everyone knew except me. How devastated and betrayed I had felt. So I told her the truth. She confronted him and his reply. Shti. Don't listen to Miss Shik. She's just fking jealous. Just played matchmaker to get closer to me. Etc. She believed him. So did my circle of friends on her side and his side. I never quite got over that. While so many people comment with slept with my so. It's a tale as old as time. She died. This was 16 years ago when we were 16. Still wonder what she would be like as an adult. I wonder what I would be like if I still had her in my life. I'm so different that the person I was when I was 16. I also think about her parents a lot. They weren't the happiest people in the world even before they lost her. I hope her younger brother is okay. Moved a long distance away and just sort of grew apart. He became a huge pothead and I became a huge drunk. Kinda funny how those can separate us. Being around her became very draining. She was my best friend since kindergarten. She was never able to talk about anyone but herself. And eventually. The only jokes she'd make were severely self-depreciating. About her weight. Her depression. All her flaws. Serious things that I could not laugh about and brought the mood down every time. She had social anxiety so we were never able to go out and make new experiences together. And while I tried so. So hard for so many years to keep her actively included in group activities. She just did not cooperate, but complained when I didn't do it. All of our conversations ended up remember when we did this? Comma. Half laughing at stale. Decade old in jokes. And playing single player video games that she wouldn't share. I was supposed to think watching is just as fun, it worked like this our whole lives. We're 20 now. Dot. Her goal is to never leave her parents house and be on welfare the rest of her life. They enable this. I basically ghosted when we graduated high school. I feel terrible. But I felt worse when I had to look after her. He was taken to a mental hospital. And the drugs they give him make him a completely different person. Edit. Thanks everyone for sharing their own experiences and caring for me and my friend. I'll let him know Reddit cares for him. Haha. <laughs> he did a bunch of weird things. Lies. Being creepy with other people's girlfriends, after breaking up with his GF, who's a friend with all my other friends, and so I confronted at him about it and he resents that I did that. I think he just went into panic mode. Thinking that people were talking about him, the ex being so closely entwined in our social circle, and it all got out of hand. Edit. She quit being my friend towards the end of our senior year of high school. We went to a small school where there was a homecoming coronation for everything. She wanted to be banned queen really badly. But I won. Not because I campaigned or anything. But probably because I was the band president. The only senior girl in jazz band. And hung out with some of the younger kids because I have a younger brother and or they were in jazz with me. Even her mom was mad at me for winning it. Even though I literally did nothing. It was just a vote of all the band kids. I wasn't about to apologize for it either. Because it wasn't my fault and it's a really stupid reason to cut off your best friend. Now almost 10 years later. I still don't regret not apologizing but it does kind of make me sad that I don't talk to anyone from high school anymore. But I've got much better college friends and now work friends so I don't need that kind of negativity. Walked in on him moments after he was finished fking my, now ex. Girlfriend in my room are you? Karma was nice though. He blew out his knee and can no longer play his sport professionally. I lost a lot of weight. And she found most of it. We were friends. And then dated. And then now we're not friends. He OD'd. 
Edit. Three months later. I find out that it was actually meningitis. That's good. I guess. We graduated high school. Moved to different cities and both realized we apparently had no interest in keeping the contact alive. She got a boyfriend and became an ass and didn't talk to anyone but him. Then. When they broke up. She started texting me again. And I just didn't respond because obviously I wasn't as important. So now we're not friends. It's for the best. Really. He got rejected by a girl. And suddenly became very depressive and shut in. We tried to support him but he didn't want it to go out. Or have any relation with our group of friends. With time things go old cold and we barely speak to each other anymore. He's 27 and still living with his parents and doesn't work or study. And barely walks out his house. It's sad but we got tired of trying to drag him out. She got mad because I fked her bf. P.S. I acknowledge that this was a totally fair reaction. Close bracket. Edit. This happened 20 years ago. Both my ex-friend and the boyfriend have since moved on in separate directions and both now live happy lives. More edit. I am impressed by the amount of, mostly negative, response this post has amassed. And I am guessing that many of you are projecting past experiences of a similar nature onto me. That is completely okay. And I don't really mind being diagnosed as an arsehole by the reddit collective. We're all anonymous anyway. But as this has escalated so massively. I won't be making any more replies as anything I add only seems to infuriate people further. Yeah well that does kind of make you an asshole. He, a schizophrenic, went off his meds again and killed his own dad. Ah. Yes. That could be a problem. Cuz FCK that guy. One of them found out how cool drugs were. And started hanging round with the wrong crowd. Another finally got his first girlfriend in 19 years and fully ghosted all of us. Son of a bitch slept w my gf. We broke up. She moved into state. Didn't make an effort to keep in touch or visit. Whereas I flew up to see her specifically twice in the 12 months and tried fb messages and texts. She got engaged earlier this year. And my last trip up there for her birthday saw me leave broken hearted because she told me I was no longer her best friend. After attempting a few skype dates. She then cut me out of her life with no reason or explanation. So. Yeah. Every time he found out I was interested in a girl he would try to chat her up or sleep with her. Even if he'd previously said she wasn't attractive before realizing I liked her. He did this at least 6 times. Drug addicted loser that didn't pay any rent or bills for like 6 months I'll pay you back soon dude. I swear while simultaneously buying hundreds of pounds, you were cute, worth of drugs. Not talking to me unless he wanted something and leaving the house an utter shthol. Arsehole owes me like you acute 3000 pounds. I wrote it off as my cost of getting rid of him when I moved out. He never would have paid it back anyway. We were friends for 10 years. We were both hardcore video game nerds in our teens. And were introverts. And didn't have other friends. Then I grew up. He didn't. We just don't have anything in common anymore. I have many friends. Out every day. Hit the gym. And I can't make him leave the house to join me for anything. Not me. But my wife's ex best friend, the maid of honor, tripped her during my wife's bachelorette party causing her to break her two front teeth badly a few weeks before our wedding. While she was bleeding in the front seat and sobbing. Instead of helping her best friend doesn't help her at all and goes on a tirade about how she's marrying the wrong person. And that she's a horrible friend for getting married while she's still single. By the way. She tripped my wife because they were lost and my wife called me so I could direct them to where the car was. And her friend thought it was unbecoming of my wife to call me instead of relying on her. She was always a shtty wife friend to my wife. And it's unfortunate it took her ruining her bachelorette party for her to see how bad a friend she really was. 
the attention seeking arsehole flunk medical school and was so afraid of his parents that he ran away to join the insurgency in Iraq in 2006. Apparently he wanted to go on jihad and fight the Americans. After he disappeared his parents turned on me. Accusing me of recruiting him to go. They proceeded to report me to the police and national security as well as going to all my family and friends houses calling me all manner of things from murderer to a religious recruiter. The incredibly ironic thing is that I'm the farthest thing from religious. I was dragged through police stations. Interrogated and from what I was told. Put on a watch list, which includes phone tapping. He eventually turned up and from what I heard. He was hiding in some farm in the countryside for weeks. It was one of the worst periods in my life. And when he reached out he had the audacity to defend his and his parents actions.